278 laps complete. When we go back to green, there will be 10 cars on the lead lap. Bill Elliott's, though, has been pushed to the garage after cutting a left rear tire and slapping the wall up in turn number three. Greg Biffle's made a couple of stops. He'll come back out. And Jeff Gordon has the lead. Four-time Cup Series champion leads active drivers in that category, and he gets quite a chorus each time he is introduced. I actually look forward to when my name is introduced, hearing, you know, the crowd's reaction. And, and I'm actually surprised if I go somewhere and I hear more cheers than boos. You know, it's usually the opposite. And, and uh, every stage I walk across, because we normally have, you know, either a, a, a entertainer, a music star, or a politician, or somebody on the stage, and every time I walk across, they're like, what's that for? What's that all about, you know? And, and I just say, oh, I don't know, you know, and I shake their hands, go get in the car, and do my thing. Gordon doesn't have a bad guy image, which is why some people question how much he gets booed, but he wins an awful lot. Maybe that's part of it. Now, as somebody who knows about the cheers and the boos. Mm-hmm. Well, sometimes you deserve them. Sometimes you bring an agam on, you know, but Jeff never has. But you got to look some. He's been around 12 years. 64 wins, four championships, driver of the year four times. That's a lot of success in a real short period of time, and it tends to tick people off. Did you ever but mind I, your driver being booed, Larry? I know, I know his motto was whether they're cheering or whether they're booing as long as they're making noise, right? That's all. It, I guess that's, <laughs> that's kind of how you have to deal with it, at that, you know, when they're doing. In. And that's what Dale Earnhardt always said. Long as they're making noise, I'm fine. If I ever walk up there and it's silent, I'm all done. One thing I wouldn't do, though, I would never invite everybody to come meet me at the Kmart. No, don't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Matt is with Jeff Gordon's crew chief. Jeff Gordon and company not only working on their first win here in Texas, but their first top five finish of the season. Robbie Loomis, how big of a work in progress has it been today to get that car up front? It's been a ton of work. These two race teams have done a great job all day long. Work on. It's just it's too a while for the season to get a handle on the tire today's just been uh, we've been real good on the long runs we've kind of been off on the short runs i'd really like to say hello out there and thank you to everyone praying for my mom and my family and uh, hang in there mama need you and uh, say hello to everyone else pop and rick too we're keeping uh, papa joe and robbie's mom in our prayers and also one quick update on the zero one of joan imichek they believe he has a broken valve spring. Tivik Bergman. We were talking about cheers and boos. There are only cheers for Bill Elliott, who has just exited his car. Are you having fun out there today? Well, I had a good time for a little while, but just unfortunate. You know, I, I knew I had a tire going down. I was trying to get to the bike, and it just was one of those days. This is a team, this is a driver that deserves a sponsor so that we can see more of them. That's for sure. There's Elliott's car with the right rear down into the wall, taking him out of the race. His teammates, though, Casey Kane and Jeremy Mayfield, have been very much in contention. Kane has led the most laps today. And what about Dave Blaine? Now, it's <laughs> taken a while for us to noodle this out, but I've got to explain the sponsor on the right side of, Kane, of, of uh, Blaney's car. It's Batesville Speedway is his sponsor. And on the right side, it says topless 100. Now, that is a feature race either for convertibles or for wingless sprint cars. Oh, man, I'm glad you knew what that was. <laughs> Jeannie? My mother's very glad that you clarified that as well, Mom. It's all, it's all okay, Ma. It's all okay. I just wanted to update you on Dave Blaney's car. Great debate whether or not they're going to come in during this caution to pit. And basically, there was the consensus is even one of the top four cars in front of him stayed out. He would stay out. Get three green laps is what they decided on the tires at that point. These tires and fresh air are much better than four stickers and new ones back in about 10. His crew chief just coming on the radio a little bit ago, Lopez, saying this is going to be a long green, so may the best man win. Rusty Wallace is one of those lead lap cars after coming so close last week in Bristol. We listened in. We're never playing. We had to loosen it up this much, would you? Well, I mean, I know this place gets tight, but I, you know, I didn't think we were. Thought we were pretty good. Yeah, I did too. Man, did it get tight. That left front's giving up some, though. We're gaining wedge as we go. You know what I mean? That's what I'm thinking. You know, we just took all that wedge out of it, put some. Everything we did really helped it. That rubber really helped it. 
that's his crew chief, Larry Carter. And I know when this move was made over the offseason, a lot of people questioned, would Larry Carter and Rusty Wallace, would they mix? We talked about Greg Biffle and Doug Richard. Every time we listen to their radio communication, it sounds like these guys are mixing, and they're doing a good job of keeping up with the racetrack. Wallace is fourth behind Jeff Gordon, Elliott Sadler, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. They've waved off the caution. That will allow us to set the field a bit. Dave Blaney is fifth. Casey Mirror is sixth. Kurt Busch is seventh, Casey Kane eighth, Greg Biffle is ninth, and Tony Stewart got the free pass up to tenth in front of this enormous crowd at Texas Motor Speedway, a crowd they claim is the second largest of the entire Nextel Cup season. The view one's from leaving. The view from the freshly manicured grass. Let me show you how freshly manicured it is earlier this morning. Our NASCAR on Fox crew was out there to make sure we bring you the best possible pictures. A little off the sides, please. Ronnie, what are you doing? Maybe just a tick off the top. <laughs> nice little trim. <laughs> All right, Ronnie, back to work. Steve Burns. Hey, Mike, caught up with Tony Uri Sr. Uh, Tony, you guys have thrown everything in this race car. You've adjusted on it hard. Can you make it to the end, and is the car fast enough to get to the front? Well, we can make it to the end. Uh, we was hoping that caution didn't come out because we, uh, we thought we had something for our own little fuel mileage deal, but uh, the caution came out, so we adjusted on some more. But the, the car's just been crazy tight all day long. We just had not been able to get it out of it. We've tried everything. Went back to where we started and uh, went in a different direction. And I think we got it a little better there one time, but that last run, I don't know, that set of tires just didn't work real good. So. Uh, hopefully this adjustment right here will be what it needs and uh, we can get to the front. All right, these cars off. We gave you the lead lap cars. The five cars one lap down are Jamie McMurray, Brian Vickers, Mayfield, Johnson, and Green Green flag, Jeff. green flag. Here we go at lap 283. So oh, run straight away. away. Wimmer and Mayfield get together hard contact. Everyone else will get through the caution waves again. Anybody get a lap back there, Larry? Well, I, I think Jamie McMurray in the 42 car may get the part, possibly, back on the lead lap. We'll have to find out from NASCAR. But no one was ahead of race leader Jeff Gordon, I don't think, at the moment. Over here to us. Guys, let's see what it looks like there. Yeah, Kevin Harvick in the 29 was close, but now he's two laps down, but I don't think he's going to get anything out, because remember, the minute that caution flag waves, the field is frozen. We've got a saying in Texas about horses, rode hard and put away wet, and that applies to both of these cars. Here's what happened on the restart. Look at the top of your screen at the cat car. Oh, he just got jacked up. Got booted by Brian Vickers. Brian Vickers, and then turned him right in in front of Mayfield. 19 had nowhere to go. Nope. Chances are that uh, possibly, and maybe Wimmer missed a gear. Always, always trying to think about what I'd say if something like that happened. Six car. That was his view. And Jamie McMurray will be the beneficiary of the free pass. So next restart we'll have 11 cars on the lead lap. This will not be one of them. 284 laps complete in the Samsung Radio Shack 500. We're back under caution. Jeff Gordon, your leader. You're watching NASCAR on Fox.